Uh, the wind's going to be terrible today to try and film in, but I'm walking across this old paddock here, across to all those trees over there. Uh, there used to be a showgrounds out there from 1888 to 1920, I think. Something like that, anyway. You know, I found a heap of coins out along there, so I'm going out for another look. You know, just walking across, sort of swinging away at a shallow 28, just suddenly bing at me here, you know, gives you a fright, you're not expecting a signal. And I don't know if you can see in there, in the shadow, but if I lift this up, ha <laughs> ha look at that. A beautiful penny. And I'm going to say... 1943 so there we go just under the surface there so jolly jolly cool <laughs> you know tiny coil big open area and I just happened to walk right across it <laughs> it's amazing how often that happens but I guess you don't know how many you're missing <laughs> at the same time anyway so first coin today so I'm tuned in ready to go <laughs> so let's see if there's anything else hiding out here got a pretty shallow 23 target here I'm gonna guess it's a bottle cap but I could be wrong it just sounds a little bit not solid but you know might be a well I'll stop speculating it's a piece of can <laughs> so I reckon I found the other piece of that up there further. Anyway, piece of rubbish. But it's another piece out of the ground so it won't yell at me anymore. <laughs> so on we go. Now out of that hole I had a 16 and I did get the dates wrong. Um 1888 to I think it was more like 1980 something when the showground sort of finished and consequently you know there's pool tabs like confetti everywhere out there so I'm not digging a lot of 16s well over here you know there's not as many so I thought I'd dig this one and you know the modern thrippances they're gonna ring up around that range so you know they're gonna miss them but can't do much about that unless you spend all Sundays digging pool tabs, but anyway, I dug this one 16 and we have that. Now, you may say, What on earth is that? as I thought, <laughs> but it is just a 20 cent 100 years Federation Norfolk Island 2001. <laughs> I have actually never seen that 20 cent before, well, I don't think I have, but you know. 20 cent 2001 but you know it's a special edition one so obviously dropped more recently but you know not a bad find now we have and I've lost the spot a nice punchy 26 here so is this gonna be a bottle cap or maybe a silver Maybe a penny, I don't know. Sometimes I've had sixpences ring up at 26, but so do bottle caps, so I'm not going to know till we get this up. Well, I haven't seen a bottle cap, but it doesn't always mean there's not one hiding here. Must be a bit deeper, I think. So I'm gonna have to stomp on the old shovel a bit more. A bit of old crockery come up there. So that's a good sign. Look at that. Whatever that is, it looks as crusty as anything. <laughs> Look at that. What a horrible looking coin. <laughs> Must be some jolly re reaction with the soil here or chemicals or something but 
I think that's a half penny, but she looks in terrible shape. So, uh, don't even think I brought my uh, water thing with me, so I'm gonna struggle to clean this one up, but <laughs> I'm not too worried about damaging it because, gee whiz, it's falling to bits, eaten away by something. <laughs> So, uh, it's just, oh, I've never seen a half penny in such bad shape as that. I mean, oh dear. Look at those rocks, they're just embedded in it. I think I'm going to really struggle to see much from that. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get a date off that one, but I'll clean it up later, and if I can, I'll put it down on the screen, but I'm pretty sceptical. <laughs> but that is amazing how uh, terrible a condition that is. And I've done 18 signal here, and that is what we've got there. <laughs> I'd say that's the remains of a pocket watch. A few cogs still there, but yeah, it's all the gizzards out of it, so I don't know where the rest of it is, but we may come across it. Down here in the prickles we've got a 21 to 23. It's a bit sort of jittery, you know, it has a grunt to it, so I'm not sure what to expect, but I've been surprised before, so <laughs> We'll see what pops up here. I think it was down a little way, but we might have got it. Let's see. Well, it certainly sounds better now. I've dug it a bit, so as long as it's not a little washer or something, we might be doing all right. Let's see if we can find it. Look at those little termites there. <laughs> um, I've seen something just drop out there. That looks nice. <laughs> I'm going to say that is a little flippance. And what have we there? We've got King Edward there. Oh. I should go back to the car and get my cleaning thing. I thought it was in my bag, but I must have left it. Uh, give us a jiffy, we'll clean that up and we'll see what date we've got. <laughs> Look at that little beauty. 1902 Edward the... Uh, whatever he is. King Edward Srippence. <laughs> you know... That is an awesome find. Edward the Seventh, that's what I was wanting. Anyway, <laughs> that is a jolly awesome silver. And that has made my day, that one right there. So we're going to see what else we can find. Just down here, we've got a, well, sort of anything from 21 to 26. So, let's see what this one is. I'm hoping for another coin, of course, but we have to take whatever comes up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've got it, but... Still in the middle of our hole there, so take another swipe at this and hopefully we will have it. Yeah, let's see if we've got it yet. Seeing that in there, which I think will actually be a signal looking at that, that's a little um brass buckle 
with a brass tongue on it as well. <laughs> so that explains what was a bit of an all over the place signal. But it's not a bad little buckle. It's got the roller thing on it, so I don't think it's super ancient, but nonetheless, not a bad find. So let's see if we can find something else. 27, 28 here. Just got my foot on it to mark it so I don't lose it while I'm looking away. And I'm going to guess maybe a penny, but maybe it'll be a cent coin. Or maybe something completely different. <laughs> but it's not too big. And if I lever this up, uh, I did see it. Must have dropped out, but there's the impression. And if we dig around in here, I reckon we might find that, which is just a two cent. <laughs> so, not too exciting, but it is a coin. Another 27 28 here, not far down, so. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's another two cent, but we will film it just in case. Sometimes you get tricked with it. But it does sound like a two cent. Nice and loud, sharp signal. So I just gotta find where it's hiding here. They like hiding sometimes, but there we go. And I can see already that is a, indeed a two cent. And 1819 here we have that big clanger, which is a fired uh, bullet, but <laughs> a jolly big one. So, you know, I've found a few of those, but I don't really know what date you would put on those, but you know, that isn't a recent sort of thing. I think they were sort of just after the musket balls maybe, like a musket rifle. But anyway, <laughs> they're a big chunk of lead. Really punchy 23 24 here so we'll see what it is. I won't make any guesses. <laughs> I have a few in my mind but I'll just keep quiet I think. Because quite often my guesses are wrong anyway, so... <laughs> but, there we have a jolly old bottle cap. It's an older sort of one. Maybe the ones that went over the cork. But anyway, it's a bottle cap, so... Yeah, got a pretty deep, predominantly 23 sort of number here, so... It's pretty deep, so we'll see how we go. Hopefully, it's something good. I don't know if I've got it out or not, but we can find it out. Saying 22 now, and just somewhere. <laughs> Can you see that? A little rim in there. So if we give that a squeeze, ah, we should get that out. And looking at the colour of that, I'm going to say it's a British one. And could be proved wrong, but we'll see. Uh, I can see it did the seventh again there, so give me a tick and we'll clean that one up and see what we've got. I'm yeah. gonna try and do this without getting my shadow in there. We have a 1905 a little threepence. <laughs> Still got that glint of silver there. And, you know, she's a bit worn, but 
but I'm not complaining. That's pretty nice. And it with the silt. Bit hard to see there. But you know, should have a fair way down. And there we have it. 1905 Thrippence. <laughs> I thought it would be peaceful out here, but I've already had two people come and, you know, have a chat to me. Ask me, tell me all the gold spots around here. Not that I'm looking for gold, but, and I don't think you'd be pretty lucky to find gold with one of these up here. I'd say it'd be a lot deeper, but anyway. Anyway, just got back from chatting to an old chap over there. And just over there's where I got the serpents. And we've got a 24 here, just under the surface, I think. So, we're going to see if that's a bottle cap or a coin. Sounds good, but it might be just a scent coin or a bottle cap. So, bottle cap. <laughs> anyway. On we go. Now, a bit of a jumpy 2120 sort of signal. Not a good signal, but we're going to see what we've got here. If we can dig through that hard soil here. It doesn't look hard, but it is once you get down a bit. Um, We're still in a hole, so I'll dig a bit more this away and see if we can disturb it this time. Let's see if we've got out. She's still down there. Sort of gone to a 22, 25 sort of number now, so getting hopeful this might be a coin. But we will see. <clears throat> Gotta get through this dirt here. Yeah. Yeah, do you reckon we've got it yet? I'm not so sure, but we'll see. Yep, we've got it. But that is not looking like a coin. Little focus. That looks like a cog or something. It's got a square drive in the middle. Anyway. Good little signal. It's a big thick cog, so yeah, we should zoom you out there. It's a big thick one. So we're not too far from where I found it. There's other cogs and stuff, so maybe it's part of the same. Anyway, that was our signal. Down here in my shadow. We had a 20 and look, 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 is that not looking like another little thribbance? Um, I think that's Queen Victoria on that one, so I'm going to hazard a guess, that's 18, nah, 19, well, I should just clean it. 19, 1890s to early 1900 maybe. It's a veiled one, so it's my guess somewhere in 1890 something. Anyway, I'll clean that up and we'll see if I'm right. <laughs> Seems to be Thrippence Haven around here. I'm still in the same sort of area where I found the other Thrippences, 
I did do a big walk around and then I've come back up here because you know didn't find a lot anywhere else other than a few cent coins so I decided to come back here and you know give this area a bit more of a go over and <laughs> I'm glad I did because it paid off so I was right it is 1890 and if you look closely and get my shadow out wobbling all over the place here and look at that it's jolly hard doing it this way but let's see if we can zoom on that better now 1895 Pick it up, maybe. There we go. 1895. Pretty smooth. You know, it's had a bit of wear, but jolly cool. 1895, and we have bailed Queen Victoria there. Now, yeah, had a really scratchy 20 1819 signal here. Now you could just get it. It's pretty. Down a fair way and don't try filming it because it's a pretty hard digging and filming, especially in this hard dirt. But what is that? <laughs> I'm going to say we have stepped up to a sixpence. And there's why it was a bit of a lower signal because I can see Queen Elizabeth on there. So that'll be, uh, what will it be, 1954, but anyway, that's jolly cool, little sixpence, 1954, and now we've got it out, what we've got bar down so not very deep but we have these numbers thirty thirty one <laughs> that's gotta get you excited so what's it going to be is it gonna be something nice or something nasty <laughs> oh, it's gonna be something well, I shouldn't say nasty, but I was hoping for a big silver or a token or something. But we have a bung. <laughs> so, you know, that's not a bad find really. It's a nice old bung, brass one. So, we can put that in the shed and one day we might just need a bung that size. <laughs> At least that's what we tell ourselves. Sometimes it works, but anyway, that had me blood pumping. I thought 30, 31, that's got to be something good. <laughs> but anyway, it was a bug. Well, in between these bits of grass here, we have a 1920 signal, so we're going to see what we can unearth here. Hopefully something good. Yeah. See if we've dislodged it. Yep, she's in this clod somewhere, so see what we can find here. seen anything yet so we're gonna have to get the pin pointer out actually I see something now that little piece of aluminium tubing <laughs> so that's a bit disappointing but that's metal detecting <laughs> all the rubbish and occasionally you find a bit of treasure. 
Well, I've got a pretty good 29 here and she's not far down, so 29. Let's see what that gives us. Hopefully it's a coin. <laughs> but it's not. It's a jelly old jelly can. So bingo. <laughs> And 1920 here, um, predominantly 19 this one, and can you see that little club there, and that little rim, <laughs> that looks like we have another little thruppets, there it is, so what are we going to find on that one? I'm not sure. Looks pretty worn, but I'll give it a clean and we'll see what we can see. And, um, see if I can do it down here. On that side, we have Queen Victoria button head there. Easy that is to see, but she's there just pretty worn. So, on that side, the other side, uh, if we can zoom out a bit, we have absolutely nothing, <laughs> it's just worn off, it's just a smooth coin. So I can't see anything on that side. But Queen Victoria bun head, so I'm gonna guess, you know, 1870s, 1860s, somewhere around there. But I can't see any marks on that side. It's as smooth as a, well, something that's smooth. <laughs> Anyway, another little thrippence, and worn as it is, that's a jolly cool find. Well, 21, 22, 23 sort of numbers here. A little bit jittery, so I'm not sure what to expect here, but we're going to see what comes out of the ground here. And we'll see if we've dislodged it. down here somewhere and I reckon it'll be that which is a little brass knob off something and I don't know what but anyway a little knob yeah had a little 18 here just one bar down you know it's a bit high for a pull tab but might be a bit of rubbish and out of there I pulled that and you know I thought it was an off cut of copper tube at first but I think although it's a bit hard in this well I suppose I've got a bit of sun but that is a ring you can see a pattern around there so I'm not sure what sort of ring, whether it's just a, because this was a showground, so maybe a, you know, one in a prize, might be just brass, but anyway, there is something written in there, so we'll try and read that when we get home, but, you know, came in at 18, and I suppose that could be a lady's ring, or a kid's ring. They had such things, <laughs> but that's a jolly cool little find. A little 18, and trying to see what's patterns there. It's just like leaves or something around there. But anyhow, we'll clean that up at home, and we'll try and put some better pictures up and see what's written inside there. But 
you know, that is a jolly cool little find. And down here, I've got a 25, 26, so we'll see what we get this time. I don't think it's too far down. Question is, is it rubbish or is it not? Yeah. See if we've got it out. I think we have, but... She's in this clump with the grass, so... I have to squeeze it out and... Yeah. Awfully hard to see through this phone, but... Down here, we have another silver. <laughs> Look at that. And I can see a coat of arms there. 1912. That is awesome. <laughs> 1912. I think that was the year the Titanic sank. If I remember rightly. Rob that now, but anyway, 1912. Pretty cool. Just there's where I got the other the sixpence, and I've gone up and coming back down, and we've got a 24, 25 sort of number here. So let's see if we've got ourselves another coin or something else this time. And let's see if we can get him out. Nope, still in there, so we're going to have to get it a wee bit deeper. Hopefully. Well, my apologies for the abrupt end. <laughs> my phone decided to go flat, so. Uh, we didn't get to film the end of that, but um, what I've done is we're back home and, well, we're at the fish pond actually, and I haven't cleaned the last four coins I found, so what we're going to do is, even though we didn't get to dig them together, we're going to at least clean them together, and we'll see what dates we got here. So, at least we get to see the dates together, if nothing else. Got my little helper here who wants to help. Um, wash this one, I think, is a shilling. It's a big silver. And got Queen Victoria there on a veiled head. And on that side, uh, that is actually a special, uh, whatever it is, Jubilee edition. Uh, you can see 1898 there. Um, yeah, it's not the usual shilling. So that's jolly cool. I haven't got one of those before, so that is. I don't know if they just made those for one year or what, but anyway, 1898, one shilling. Jolly cool. <laughs> I'm wrapped with that. That's the icing on the cake for my day. <laughs> jolly awesome and you know it's not in bad shape it'll clean up pretty nicely I'd say so jolly old shilling uh, put him down there and I've got two half pennies and a sixpence so we will try the sixpence and see what date we can get off it I think uh, ah, there we go. Those half pennies are both pretenders, I think, but this one is a coat of arms. Uh, 1910. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's pretty old. George V there. 
put in with his mates. Um, that was the one I was digging when the phone went flat. So anyway, I'm pretty sure these are both Britannia half pennies. So we'll give them a bit of a clean and we'll see what we can see on here. Um, definitely Britannia. Sorry if my filming's a bit erratic, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, Britannia, and I can just see. If we give it a bit of a dry. Uh, underneath there we have 1892. 1892. So that should be Queen Victoria. Yep. And the bun head one, so and got another half penny, and I did find that which is a well, it's either a tie uh, clip or a money clasp, like for banknotes. I don't know. I know they had them to clip their notes together, but you know it's got a bit of red on the back, but I'm not sure whether it's for a tyre clip or a money clip, but anyway, whatever. Um, uh, <laughs> we've got Britannia again, and 1907 there. So that'll be King Edward on the back there. He's got a bit of cancer attacking him, but you can just see him there. King Edward. So, jolly cool. Couple of Britannia half pennies. And this one, I haven't really tried cleaning it up yet, but uh, I'm really doubtful I'm gonna get much of it. It's, look at that, it's just eaten away and caked on there like cement. Um, but this one is actually not a bad penny, the rue, it's our ring, and put those back there, one, and a clip. So that is not a bad little haul really, what have we got, it's four threepences, three sixpences, a jolly old shilling, uh, three half pennies and one penny, 20 cent, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cents. And our tie clip or whatever it is. So, not a bad day out at all. Anyway, hopefully, at least we got to see the dates together, even though we didn't get to dig them together. But anyway, 